in the middle of Dayton's always busy Dearborn Avenue. After Hillary Williams wished his friends and family a Merry Christmas on Christmas Day last year. And I just started crying and got up. His cousin, Joyce Cantrell, will never be able to erase from her memory what happened right after he left her. Here he done got hit, he up under the truck. Running to help him, finding him after a driver hit him as he walked home and left him to die. So I could reach this hand and when I got down there and grabbed his hand, I was saying, Hillary, Hillary, I said, he cold, y'all. He ain't moving, he ain't moaning, he ain't doing nothing. Hillary's other cousin, Precious Braden, thought just like Joyce, how one of her best friends. Uh, he loved to have fun. The guy yeah, so like many fun. knew as the life of the party would survive. When I talked to him, he'd squeeze my hand. When I played music, he would wiggle that feet. But on February 4th, he died. And I just couldn't hear those words. Numbers uncovered by the I team show stories like how Hillary Williams was killed have led to more than 10 other deadly unsolved Montgomery County hit and runs during the last three years. And that does not include Diamond Wright, who was just 17 when she was killed walking with a friend down North Main Street in January. But nobody to even be decent enough to say, you know, I, I did this and just, I, just say I'm sorry. Say something, don't just leave him just laying in the street. My New Center 7 I team information request to the Ohio State Patrol asked for the number of unsolved hit and runs where someone in Montgomery County was hurt during the last three years. Their response showed this happened 128 times. In 14 of those cases where someone was actually killed, OSP tells the I team 12 of those deadly crashes remain unsolved. It is hard. That's one of the, the harder things to solve. Montgomery County Sheriff Major Matt Haynes says sometimes his investigators are able to identify tire markings, paint color, and if they're lucky, the cars make and model. We're looking for the smallest clue. But in almost every case, it's finding the suspect that's nearly impossible. Major Haynes says even a small amount of evidence is still not enough. Here, um, it's literally one of thousands of cars that are passing and somebody just makes the horrible decision to not stop after the crash. In Diamond Wright's case, which Major Haynes' office is handling, he says that is what's happening. However, the Dayton Police Department is handling Hillary Williams' case. The department spokesperson only responded in an email, simply saying crash investigators have no new information and the investigation is ongoing. We want someone to answer for doing this. But Williams's family says part of the information Dayton investigators have seen has come from them. Information they say they've not received answers about. What happened? How did it happen? I know he got hit, but did the guy not see him? Did he, you know, did my brother accidentally fall. With so many unsolved hit and runs, I attempted four times in the last month to call Montgomery County Prosecutor Matt Heck to see if he could give some perspective on why so many of these cases have not been prosecuted. He has not returned my calls. We'll update you when we get an answer. For the I-Team, Kayla Corval, News Center 7.